I do hope he gets to be the president. I'm definitely going to endorse it. I have a feeling he's a little bit too old. I think he could be doing better. I think he brought a lot of money to this city. He's smart. He's a problem solver. And I think he has the integrity to bring people together. He's a man that, that he says no malarkey. <laughs> Wilmington, Delaware. This city of 70,000 is where Democratic presidential candidate Joe Biden calls home. Biden served 36 years as a representative of Delaware in the U.S. Senate. Wilmington sits on the Delaware River, just 30 miles southwest of Philadelphia. Wilmington's a very small town. Many people know each other. Everybody around you knows who you are. You have to watch what you say. Hey, Hey, how are you? <laughs> See? To grow up in Wilmington, it's very diverse. There's something in Wilmington for everybody. It's a diverse city. If you notice, I'm in an Italian restaurant. Every time I come here, I get treated like I'm one of his own. The population here is 57% African American. While Biden has historically polled well among black voters, with the decline of his candidacy, those voters may now be up for grabs. There's something here called the Delaware Way. It's a practice born out of the sense that Delaware is small enough to get all of the decision makers together in a room to hash out agreements. Biden embodies the Delaware Way, and his allies say it's not just because he's friendly, it's because he's politically pragmatic. You know, he was criticized for reaching across the aisle to talk to some of the Republicans when he was in his early years in the Senate, but I think that's what you need. You need to have the ability to talk to people who who hate your guts. He knows how to solve problems. He's very concerned about climate change. It would be such a relief to have somebody in the presidency who fully understands the need to get to work on climate change immediately at the federal level. We, we have to make some major changes. Biden was actually one of the first to introduce a climate change bill, the Global Climate Protection Act of 1986. But in Wilmington, the Delaware Way is fraying. What was once a city with ample opportunity for blue-collar workers saw the closing of the Chrysler plant in 2008 and the General Motors factory soon after. As jobs disappeared, gun crime spiked. Residents facing these troubles and persistent inequality wonder if the status quo is no longer good enough. These days, Wilmington is facing some economic challenges. Uh, Wilmington used to be called the chemical capital of the world, but the DuPont Company was headquartered here. One of the leading companies in the world, and they recently split off into two. Joe he has a think tank at the University of Delaware that's working on the biggest problem, the second biggest problem in this country. So many people lose their jobs. His think tank is supposed to help solve the problem of what can be done in a big way to ensure that we have jobs for all of our citizens. I think that's super important. For Biden, his future as a candidate may depend on whether the Delaware way and compromise its central feature is ultimately seen as a virtue or as a vice. He's been on the campaign trail a long time. He's also the sort of centrist candidate that I think could succeed in the next election. I think that's the greatest uh, strength that he has is that he connects with real people.